Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to IVRL Week 21 Peacekeepers vs. Blackwatch. I am IP28, your solo caster for this evening. I want to welcome everybody in. Appreciate anybody here that's tuning in and watching this amazing matchup we got here on this wonderful Friday night. Again, Peacekeepers vs. Blackwatch, last week of the final season. And we are about to see if Peacekeepers can hold on to their guaranteed spot into the postseason. And if Blackwatch can somehow pull this upset off and make their way into the postseason. Currently, Peacekeepers sitting at number six in the NA and Blackwatch currently at number 13 in the NA. And I believe Peacekeeper stays up there in the top seven or so in the U in the in the world close to it. And Blackwatch just outside of about 17th or 18th uh, in the world. And I believe it's going to be top 15 going to make it into the postseason. So um, details will be given out this weekend to ensure those details of the postseason. But Blackwatch needs this upset to make their way in. Peacekeepers need this win to keep their guaranteed spot as well. Again, I am MP28. Welcome here to IVRL. Let's check out the bans that happened today for these two teams. If you're a bit unfamiliar with the IVRL and how things work, we are in set number three, which is kind of like group three of the regular season. It is the final group. It means set three of the map pool. In front of you, 10 maps are in set number three. Eight DPI maps left to right are all DPI onward built-in maps two on the far right arctic and shipyard are your custom maps they are made by uh, custom map makers people out there like you and i or anybody that wants to decide to just get into the map making business so you can make a map and submit it to the game the game if it's playable they'll put it into the rotation of custom maps and then if the league decides it's league worthy they'll pick it up and put it in their league so with the maps or with the bands and how that works for us is the home team and the away team both get to pick two bands a piece home team goes first on their very first band they took away abandon the largest and newest dpi map uh, that has entered into the league and into the game uh longevity wise it's the longest but i believe uh downfall is a bit wider in that aspect so still one of the longest maps for sure and then in the next two bands the away team gets two bands in a row and black watch is taking away cargo and suburbia two very close quarter maps lots of quick action and um they're just taking those off the table don't want to play that type of map tonight and then fourth and final band goes back to the home team and peacekeepers take away shipyard one of the custom maps a bit of the longer custom map um and custom maps are new to some of the players and teams um, as they don't get to play them as often as the dpi maps that's where we're sitting at and we have six maps left in the map pool to choose from home team gets the very first map Let's take a look at what their first map pick is. And that is going to be Bazaar. We are heading to Bazaar for map number one. A very pretty large map in scale, but also uh, when you break it down, it is very close quarters in an aspect. There's a couple long lanes, which are roads, but other than that, you're in buildings and alleyways that become very close quarters and it's gonna be a fun map lots of action i've seen peacekeepers on this map our team has played peacekeepers on this map very knowledgeable and very tactical on this map um i would imagine we could probably see some good four and five man pushes as peacekeepers does but black watch has got their hands full this is peacekeepers map pick and we shall see how that one's gonna turn out let's jump around fly around bazaar see what we're dealing with here As you can tell, we do have nine of 10 in the lobby. And I would imagine the fifth and final member of Peacekeepers should be in very shortly. Let's go over what we have so far in the starting lineup. Blackwatch running with all five members so far. Nomad, Brandon, J1s, Cash Crazy, Noto Now, and J Welch 159. And all five are starters on that squad. So far on the Peacekeeper side, Virus, Hondo VR, Nardu, and Rushers. Again, four starters for sure. Not sure what their fifth is going to be. Hopefully we'll see here shortly. But flying around into Bazaar, our very first objective is going to be in Kiot. 
And Kiat here in the far north is a three-story build or two-story building. I apologize. Um, and with the objective here at Kiat, this brings up the most spicy and high octane type of a uh, um, objective on this game. As you can see, the satellite dish here in the middle of us um, places to cap from. You can cap from either side, either room on the sides of the OBJ above it and on the porches of those in the corners of those rooms as well. So potentially six six spots that you have to watch as defense from being capped on and capped on being sending the uplink and earning the maximum two points uh, per round. Um, very tough one to defend, very fun one to watch and see the action go down. Uh, but here and onward, it is a 5v5 mil sim, more realism. Uh, type of a uh a multiplayer shooter game uh five defense five offense um and peacekeepers are starting on offense they'll be in the tan jerseys black watch will start on defense in the black uniforms and the goal is for the defense to guard that satellite dish that i just showed you that uplink there is six minute rounds where they have to protect that uplink at all cost and do not allow the peacekeepers to either kill all of their team or get within a certain radius of that satellite dish and punch in a seven digit code that's randomized each round. And punching in that code is not as easy as it sounds. It is have to be off memory. Your tablet on your back, you pull out and the code will show the seven digits. And then you have to click off the screen onto a new screen and then type those seven digit code back in um, while being shot at or in smoke or under gunfire or whatever it may be um, and anxiety and nerves get to some people and very hard to do um, I would say the capping radius is about a 10 15 foot realism type uh, radius and not as easy as it seems looks like diesel our fifth and final member of peacekeepers has jumped in and we are about to begin round number one here on map number one week 21 all right, boys, last game of the season. Let's make it memorable. As Blackwatch does start defense here on Kiots, like Nomad did mention their team captain. Let's make this one memorable. It is the last round, our last match of the regular season. Focus, focus. They can be in the white side. Offense getting somewhat of a... Uh, South quick spawn, and they are able to run up very quickly into the courtyard here in the west. It's like a three-man push heading far west into the courtyard, two heading straight into what we call bazaar, um, center market, center bazaar, as Brandon J1s is tucked in right along the uh, fountain here. Hearing the call-outs coming from the peacekeepers using the wood crates in the... Uh, little markets to their advantage and coverage but those are all penetrable everything wood is penetrable so you do have to when you do get spotted you do have to be careful that you're not in a position to immediately take fire cash crazy in a very powerful spot looking around the staircase here into the market area as nardu is approaching very quickly footsteps are going to be heard from cash crazy now looking through the window instead And Nardu putting out a little M203 smoke, a little more blockage and view on the uh, fountain there. Nardu going to push his luck, work into the objective. Is Nomad going to see him? Nomad does not see him. No, our, he is upstairs ready, looking to cap. He is getting called out. Right, he's, inside. he's dead, he's dead. Okay. They don't know Nardu is up here. As he can't put the code out, code in, no do, an already left all alone, and the uplink does come. Sending the uplink upstairs, quickly upstairs, getting uh, in. Wow, what a job there. By Nardu, and Nardu is up there for quite some time. And Peacekeeper's taking an early two-point lead here on map number one. Wow, what a push there by the offense and using that M203 smoke, that long lasting, you know, not able to throw away type of smoke. 
Um, you can't do anything with that M203 smoke. Once it lands, you just have to let it wear out. Unlike other hand smoke, you're able to find that hand smoke and toss it away if you like. But that M203 smoke lasting a little longer and, you know, unable to get rid of it did give a lot of coverage for Nardu just to run past the defense there and inside straight upstairs into one of those rooms like we mentioned where that cap can happen uh, right there on that porch. And what a job by Peacekeepers and Nardu to take this first round, two points, maximum casualty there for Blackwatch. They don't know Nardu is up here as he can't put the code out code in no do an already left all alone and the uplink does come sending the uplink upstairs quickly getting in and jumping back into round number two let's see what the offense is going to have in store right. need to bounce back grab a point here or two i'm gonna let cash run first Check out the Peacekeeper side and what they have planned for defense as Hondo pushes towards Kiad. Virus pushing towards the east and three pushing hard to the west. And let's see if that's going to pay off. I mean, to yeah, to the east and Virus pushing to the west. See if that's going to play out for him as the offense also spreading out. Um, one watching the center cross, making sure nobody pushing market. And we have two more, Brandon J and jay welch are going to push through the far west side and it does seem like a popular push amongst a lot of teams nomad Where taking some shots is he backed off that i could cross i can't see him can you suppress it for one second i'll go cross and good teamwork call there as Nomad and Noto work together across that open ground as Noto is pushing more and more towards Virus here. Will Virus hear the footsteps? Virus in a powerful location. You can see all the coverage that Virus had on his body. Just a slight um, sideways gun angle here to give him maximum coverage um, in just watching this road. And just turning away, will Noto push at the right time? And the virus is here, and then call outs from Nomad as he peeks back and forth, wondering where the next spot to look is. Noto, no, Noto now look knowing that this is going to be a very tough push as Nomad is looking for that kill, does not find a virus getting the great shot through the window there, taking one down and flash coming out. And virus will be flashed for a good seven seconds. Oh, and Virus throwing another flash. Going to increase his flash. Smoke's coming out from Noto a bit high and far as we get action through Center Bazaar here. Cash Crazy putting down some pre-fire into the market as Virus does trade with Noto there. And does look like Noto is still down. Able to give callouts. Brandon J finding rushers. Minus one. Brandon looking down this north road here as Diesel is protecting it behind the sandbags. Uh, concrete bags or sandbags, whatever you want to call it there. Hondo watching the cross here in the front of objective as Nardu is keeping an eye and ear onto west side. Cash Crazy finding Diesel. Rotating back and then they're also going to get this revive out. So we're going to go quickly to a 4v2 here. Cash, I'm inside. I'm sorry. Wrong guy. Right. What a great job by the offense and by Blackwatch to grab that pickup. Increasing their advantage, you know, dramatically here as they were at a 3v2. Now we go to a 4v2. Hondo on the backside, north side of Kiat. What Nardu guarding that west and does find Jay Welch trying to push that courtyard. And back up to a 4 or 2v3. Hondo hearing footsteps and call outs from Noto now and Cash as they do push.
green and jay knows anardu is somewhere over here as his teammate just recently died in this area nardu with his back pretty exposed could just uh you know if Brandon takes this slow, he could shoot Nardu right in the back, really opening up this cap opportunity and securing this round as Hondo is getting pushed and pressured a bit from this side. Nardu does find Noto across the market. It's going to send Brandon J to a bit of a panic and does find Nardu down to one. Hondo, last man up, does find Cash Crazy, and we are down to a 1v1. Not sure if the kill counts are accurate. Brandon should be pretty close to having that kill count as he is jumping down. I'm stuck on the fence, unfortunately, but Hondo finds Brandon J as he does try to push into the objective area. Round two, going to Peacekeepers, going up three to nothing. was looking pretty good there for black watch you know it started off with a few early deaths but then the revive came out and a couple quick refags back onto the peacekeepers and black watch really had that advantage there with the 4-2 a uh, couple individual pushes coming from the west uh, not really backing up as nardu was clearing out that west courtyard and the guys in the east did work together but somebody got picked early and you know at the end there was a jay welch i believe had that opportunity to push in um but took a little took that early step to throw some utility and jump down and as he was trying to grab his gun back i think he ended up getting shot there so was tough for him on that one Mike Books. Playing on now. You change or you just making you it's so awkward. No, just, I'm just making I'm just of, making it's on a nomad on this I'm a rich PC boy now. Checking out this uh, offense and defensive push here as Nardu is trying to clear out, make sure nobody crosses this street. Hondo and Nomad do trade. Hondo still up. Nomad still up. Diesel getting that confirmation. But now we do have the West Courtyard objective and all four members of Peacekeepers are all... I got four members of Peacekeepers pushing through that West Courtyard and Rushers hanging back watching that street cross. Uh, last thing these guys want on the black watch side is another cap to come out to end this round or in this map five to nothing um so Bray and brandon j finding diesel what an excellent shot sitting on the objective area virus gonna pick this and possibly catch him or even nardu brandon j Cash Crazy finding Nardu as the defense is looking good and strong here. Four-man defense against three of Peacekeepers. 34. Hondo working through the north side. As Cash Crazy and Noto both have great coverage here on the north. Hondo spots out Cash Crazy looking for that kill, but Cash with a good quickly refrag. Shots onto Hondo, not quite connecting, but scaring him off back into the courtyard. Jay Welch with that important hold here in this market. Will anybody see Rushers about to cross? Jay Welch approaching. Oh, Rushers on the backside. And two quickly go down as Rushers in a very powerful spot. Another one goes down, all down to Noto, and he does need to watch both the backside and the front side going to be running around like crazy noto finding one and finding another but getting that trade or no i'm sorry rushers winning that one not trading and quickly peacekeepers going up forward to nothing here on map number one
Well, defense was looking strong there and, you know, holding them good angles and having that streak covered well. Uh, Jay Welch, I believe, got a little nervous there, came out of his courtyard trying to push the back side of the courtyard and exposed himself on the street a bit and was able to get taken down in the back by rushers. And that kind of opened up that cross on the street, which allowed those guys to, to move. You know, the desk come in, the rotations start coming in from the defense. You got to rotate the cover angles that you lost. And then that's when peacekeepers do. They, they wait and you pick one or two and then the defense starts rotating more and more. And they just keep waiting, you know, and they keep pressuring you and, and throwing utility and making you rotate and just picking you off. And then in the last final minute or so, they make their heavy pushes usually. Um, you know, they got that stuff planned out really well. And Blackwatch needs to, to come back here, grab this offensive round and, and take some points here on map number one. And it's Peacekeeper's map. Um, so they are very strong on it. They picked it for a reason. All right, heads in the game. As we are going to round number four, the objective stays in the same location as last round. As we do get, you know, the offense gets a chance, or um, the team gets a chance at offense and at defense on the same objective. And quickly, uh, offense pushing through market here. Noto now and Nomad running as a pair once again. Going to clear out Kiat and work their way through and into Hondo. Three coming from the south and the southwest. Jumping around some POVs here. Getting an idea of how these comms are working and what these players are looking at and dealing with. Backyards. Just to remind people that in game, these guys don't see all these player highlights and player tags. You know, you turn everything off. You have no idea where the next person is or who's around what corner. Uh, you got to go off knowledge of the map, you know, uh, and sounds and communication with your teammates. Center Bazaar, at least one. Nardu holding a very powerful angle, looking towards that north, guarding anything that would come across this street. You know, this one line is giving you perfect uh, coverage all the way across this street, knowing that no one's not going to make it around you. Um, as long as he does his job and holds his angle. And got some smoke coming out. Great smoke from Cash Crazy as that landed perfectly on the objective area. Going to cause a little bit of rotation, a little bit of nervousness. And again, lines coming out here, as you can see, Diesel's line right across the street, watching for Brandon J, making sure he's not going to push that. Nardu finding Noto in the north. In the yeah, north. Yeah. And there's... And Diesel one, finding one Brandon J. And you can see these crossing lines where these guys are covering and just holding their lines. Jay Welch looking for where those shots came from. Cannot quite see Diesel yet, but Rushers and Cash Crazy danger close here. As Cash has made it into here, is going to be able to hear Rushers. This looks like. Oh, I'll say utility was out. And 
and great flash there by rushers as hondo nomad seaforce nomad and what a first map that was for pk as they do go up five to nothing here in this matchup what a first map guys and pk dominating map number one here on bizarre taking five to nothing so far now it is custom for them to switch host in the lobby so we'll see if they duck out and go to a new hosted map or if they decide to stay in this lobby and pass host across but we are going to go to map number two here very shortly and that will be uh black watch's map pick so they're gonna pick their strongest map hopefully we see black watch come back and come back strong here they're not out of it even losing five nothing um this total points here in the ivrl so they can come back on the next map and also win five nothing get themselves a tie against a very higher ranked team and help their srs ranking system uh, but keeping it as close as possible so not allowing peacekeepers to score any points here is ideal and it does look like we are going to stay here and they are going to switch host as we go into map number two which is going to be quarantine Right, like we mentioned before, we are at quarantine for map number two. We do have a full lobby just waiting for them to get things started. But explaining a little more about the IVRL scoring system, you had two maps and you play best of nine, first to five in each map. <clears throat> you are able to score six points if you do get that uplink sent and your, your scoring pattern does work out to where your two points is going to get you up to six points without hitting five exactly. And it's possible for Blackwatch to still win this with that six-point margin. And like we mentioned before, ideally we want another 5-0 on the Blackwatch side and give them a tie on this one. Uh, but Peacekeepers, super strong team. Very, very knowledgeable and good on quarantine as well as it is a DPI map and been around for a while. Shots coming out early on the cross. Cash Crazy looking to shoot somebody down South Street does not find anybody shots coming out from rushers trying to protect any cross going to hospital and we do have the objective here in what we call two-story building directly under rushers take a look at that mini map that we can check out our defense a good line defense back there on the west on the east side as one sits underneath in the basement of the mall area and tank courtyard Offense pushing across with a nice little straight line covering all angles and watching for any flanks. And as I mentioned, Nardu is underground there in that dark basement area. Could possibly uh, be an ambush spot once people do make their way across. But as you can tell, very dark for Nardu. Turn off the player tags. Very hard to see him. You can see his laser. Um and see him running around there as well throwing a bit of utility what a grenade made it all the way to center burning did not connect and gonna give away his position has been called out
Cash Crazy with a very nice angle there from center burning all the way to three story, which is another popular location. As you can see, Hondo is there, but in a different spot on that third floor. A good heavy north push here coming out from the likes of Noto and most likely Nomad as they have been pushing together as a group lately. Nomad laying down prone underneath what we call the money trucks or the armored trucks and just looking for that angle to shoot through the mall area. In the motel area. Virus inside what they call motel. Holding a very important angle, watching anybody creeping up here. Still 5v5. Three minutes has passed here on round number one. Virus day in very protected in that window as he is looking for nomad and laser set up here in three story as they are looking for hondo hondo very protected holding at a very tight angle Nobody can see him from this cross on this road here. Shots coming out from Virus looking for Nomad. Does not connect. Nomad did get past him, which is going to be a bit of a problem for the defense as he can make it around the backside. Cash Crazy and Nardu do trade inside the mall. He's still up. He's still up. Both down. He's down. Yeah, he's got to come. And Brandon J is making a rotation, trying to find that revive and that kill. And Cash should be able to confirm that body. Brandon steals his kill. How dare you, Brandon? Good smokes to help block anything that rushers could possibly see. And Jay Welch going to try to approach into that South Dune side. With that slow peek, is going to be taken down by Hondo and... Brandon J finding the guy on the uplink building, but Diesel, another one guarding that. Note so now quickly getting that refrag. They know somebody's in three story. They know somebody is next to the uplink and all go down here at the mall, bringing us down to Nomad creeping in the far east hills. It's a good approach from Nomad, <clears throat> and it's a much better approach with teammates up as they can draw in the uh, distraction. But Diesel, seeing Nomad here, waiting for that kill, does find him as Peacekeepers take round number one here on map number two. Total score, as you can tell, 6 nothing here for Peacekeepers. Blackwatch needing to come back. Gonna head into defense as they can score maximum one points. Let's see, they go to offense if they cap three. Defense four, offense cap six. So it's still technically a, a, the ability to tie this matchup.
So Blackwatch will need to hold this defense, gather themselves one point, come back on offense with the cap, two points, making it three total. Back on defense for a hold, four points, and back on offense for another cap for six points and tying the match. So not completely lost yet for Blackwatch as they do need to fight for every round. Every round does matter here in the IVRL as each point does count in your ranking system. Diesel holding a very powerful angle here across the street, making sure nobody pushes towards that south. No south cross. And Cash, just what timing is going to possibly find Diesel. Doesn't quite make the shots connect. More shots coming out from Cash Crazy as he is looking for... One embassy. In front, in front of us. And Nardu finding Cash Crazy instead as making those call-outs. 54. One under ground or up above? Blood. And J Watch finding one diesel. One above. And the trade does come out as J Welch downs two and Blood. one revive comes out. Unfortunate events there for. Black watch as two kills from Jay Welch are going to turn into two revives and back to a 5v3. One just crossed over from hospital. Terrible smokes. Hondo and Diesel trying to work up. Noto now finding Nardu. As he's getting flanked, Diesel coming out and Noto finding Diesel as well. Hondo going out and finding Noto on the quick refrag and leaving two up as Brandon J runs out, thinking they're getting possibly capped on Nomad, finding that revive or that refrag as well. All by himself, Nomad left. No one available to help him as Nomad is going to have to war off these two PK. I don't think he knows he's the last member up. As he is nowhere near objective currently. Hondo working back through the basement. Gonna come up the stairs possibly. It looks like he's gathering some utility. Virus in the far south dunes. And oh man, Nomad just missed that timing and is gonna take down Hondo. Again, Nomad nowhere near objective. I think he just looked at his tablet and realized he there is no one left on objective. Virus in the far south dunes. Lasers just crossing past. Timing's not hitting. Of Nomad lost his tab, but it's unlike Nomad not to be on objective here or having full visibility of it. May not know he's last up. Drone has been taken down. Virus did have a drone out. And Nomad going down. On the street, as Virus did push in from the three-story area with some drone work there to draw the attention. And that just told Virus exactly where Nomad was located. Excellent work there by PK, taking round number two. For any of those that are just joining us and possibly missed it, we'll go back and look at the bands very, very quickly for you. 
as you can see what went down on the bands pk started the bands off and taking away abandon and then as blackwatch comes back for cargo and suburbia bands and then back to pk who take out shipyard as their fourth and final band Map 1 Bazaar went 5 0 for PK, and then a good start here uh, early in map number 2 as PK has gone two rounds in a row, taking both rounds, offense and defense, on the Far East two story objective. Let's jump in, find out what that next objective is going to be. Looks like we are going to impact building. Yep. No, they look kind of green, actually. They got cameras on the light poles. They got a green outer. Are you allowed to talk about the CCP? Nice. There are no cameras on the light pole. As no. long as it's not like blatantly against the rules, it's just like there's some politically correct stuff. On. And Blackwatch spreading out a bit here, going a few to the north side, and Cash Crazy pushing through the center. That's it. Good bitch. <laughs> does look like we have rushers up on the red scaffolding could get picked off by nomad here as he is bouncing around quite a bit and nomad finding that kill onto rushers great work good start here nardu knowing that there has been shots coming from the north going to keep an eye on this and sit up at center north roof Nomad seeing Nardu as well, but shots did not connect. And now Noto trying to push out through that smoke. And Nardu going to find that great angle onto Noto, clearing out the north push. Cash Crazy on center. Tank courtyard there. Jay Welch in by post office, Brandon J in hospital. 3v4. The flankers heading back to the west, going towards like a what or north rooftop right now. Brandon J did see Nardu cross right there in the opening, just behind that tall pole. As lasers are now focused up onto that area as Jay Welch is looking towards the north. Cash Crazy may be making a rotation to try to find that flanker. But you can see what one flanker does to an offense. Um, doesn't matter if the flanker keeps progressing, and he actually has this time. But even if you put pressure onto, you know, uh, a flank side, it really slows down the offensive push because they start getting worried about where that person is. Um, the art of flanking is not just about how far you can run around the map and how much ground you can cover, but it's about, you know, stopping the progression and getting one kill or even two and then even possibly rotating back and then helping your teammates you get one or two kills um you can only go so long before you get picked off more than likely and you know it's better just to go back help your teammates and be a five strong defense still jay welts jumping walls here looking for hondo as he does hear him nardu has made his way back towards the courtyard And the uh, flank is going to pay off as Nardu has three kills so far. And keeps making those slow rotations closer and closer to the offense as they are now going to be worried about what's behind them. Why don't you come down here and show it off? Can we, just, can we just hug real quick? Then we can I would, fucking I would, knife fight? I would love to hug this out, but I, I can't. 
small. That yeah, one's inside burning with me. Secret lovers! Secret lovers! Hey, you weren't fooling with the fuck. And Nardu finding a fourth, but finally gets taken down. With the quick refrag from Virus onto Brandon J as them shots did come out. Telling the defense exactly where he was. Unfortunate events, but finally got that flanker as Nardu cleans house there and gets a four-piece on that defensive rotation. And PK going up three to nothing here on map number two. And what a push by Nardu into the north there as he did make his way through the north. Found a Nomad uh, getting in a bit of gunfight there, taking him out. And then finding uh, one of the members in the north, uh, along the north wall, the fourth north wall. And unfortunate events on that north wall is you do only have that small little cubby hole to come out of. So once you're exposed and know you're in there, you either got to backtrack out of that alley or you have to try to push that little hole into a wide open ground. And, um, you know, th then flanked by Nardu at the way the angle that he took really uh, confused the guy coming out of that hole. They thought they were more towards the objective area. And then Nardu just continued to make his rotation. Didn't get too aggressive in the beginning. He held up in the north to make sure they knew where th people were coming from. And then he just slowly made his rotation, picking off one uh, more in tank courtyard and then another one there at center burning. And impressive job there by Nardu and the PK defense. Six. All right, head mics. Just uh, be ready because they're going to be on your ass fast. And PK gets the quick spawn as they are spawning directly behind the hospital. And shot should come out here from Noto. Noto does not see Hondo but finds Diesel. And Hondo quickly gets that refrag on to Noto now. Uh, Diesel again only down. And should get that revive. Nardu finding Nomad. And Jay Welch with an excellent shot there onto Diesel or onto Hondo in gas station. He's down. 52. What the fuck? Yeah, hey, right side of the break in the wall and impact. Did hear a drone out as Brandon J finds another one and Jay Welch finds his one. Brandon J finds a second. And that 4v2 quickly turned into a 2v1. Now a 1v1. All down to Jay Welch versus Virus here on this round. Jay Welch does have to rotate and Virus should pick him off here if he is watching. And Jay Welch is just rotating because he does not want to get capped on as the last thing because it'll end the map and the match. Staying out in the open, Virus should spot him here very quickly. And Jay Welch just looking, didn't know how many were left. There was not, there was a lot of trades that happened there. And if there was more than one left, he did, did not want to get capped on. And that's why you saw him just frantically running around, basically saying, kill me. I do not want to get capped on. <laughs> Take the one point loss rather than the two point loss. Stay alive in the game. That is a hard one to defend by yourself as you can cap from inside, outside, and above. As you can tell, you have out here, you know, you can creep along this wall and you can cap out here you can cap obviously on the inside where it was or you can come up to the second story and also cap um you know one of those like key type of objectives where there's so many angles that one person can't watch all of them at the same time and you leave yourself risky you know and open to a cap 
and that's why you saw Jay Welch just frantically running around out here basically saying kill me hopefully I get lucky and see you before you see me uh, going into round number five we do switch objectives looking at all as we do have the hospital ambulance objective yeah, you're right next to me A lot of defensive smokes coming out as they want to do as they want to cross this south approach safely and not get picked off. If the spawn was in the north, if the spawn was in the north, the offense would be able to push onto that rooftop and possibly pick out some shots. Now, that is one great thing about onward and the fact that the spawns are not always in the same location for the offense. So the defense really doesn't know where the offense is going to start the round so that changes up the whole fact of how you're going to play the defense what angles you can take early on and what rotations you can make a slight a few seconds into the round um, and that's why you saw all the defensive smokes all that utility was used but that's because they wanted to protect themselves from a north spawn and flash comes out from virus right onto brain and jay's head wonderful flash Smoke's coming out to protect that second story approach as Diesel finds one in the South Dunes. And smoking out Virus there as Hondo should be seeing Brandon J here very shortly. Lots of smokes on OBJ. Will Blackwatch use this smoke and try to push? Again, Hondo may find... Oh, what a great smoke by Jay Welch. Noto now working in from the back. If he can take out Virus. And Virus does get that shot. Nardu coming in. Jay Welch looking for that cap as well. But he gets taken down as PK holds that one down with all the defense possible. PK going up 5 to nothing here in map number 2 as well. Finishing the game off and the matchup. Wow. What a job there by PK. Great work. And that is why you see them in the tops of the leaderboard. Uh, PK, a very strong team. Blackwatch, nothing to, nothing to shy at either, man. Very strong team. But PK has been around for quite a while and has some great strategy and play style. Um, good matchup for PK taking the win tonight. 10 to nothing. And we do want to congratulate them and best of luck in the postseason. Um, we shall see what happens with the score lines and the rest of the weekend. Plenty more casts coming out from the IVRL group and myself. I am off all weekend. Well, I should be casting pretty much all weekend. Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, Sunday afternoon, and Sunday night. If you want to get casted, get into the IVRL Discord and get into League Gen. I uh, usually post on which ones to vote for. Just let me know um, if you want to see some cast. Uh, as a player in the game, you cannot ask to be casted uh, directly to the casters. But, you know, hey, shout out when you do see those. Um, when I do the voting, I'll post something in League Gen about, you know, which ones you want to be casted. And you can vote as a group, as an individual and you know see what happens but this weekend plenty more cast coming out from the ivrl as we are in the final week of regular season number one and playoffs and our postseason should start here in the next week or two as the final details will come out here in the next few days again want to thank everybody for being here this evening i am lampy 28 your solo caster for tonight congratulations to peacekeepers taking this matchup 10 to nothing over Blackwatch. i'll catch you later have a good night and God bless.